How y'all doing today? Booger Boy Master here. Got another movie review for you. Last time I talked about Last House on the Left. This time I'm going to talk about Underworld, The Rise of the Lichens. Oh boy, that was a good one. I liked it. Vampires and werewolves. That's, that's a good mixture, I'd say. I like the Underworld and Underworld Evolution. Those were good. It's got the, that, uh, what's the girl's name? Kate something. Beckinsale or something. But she played in those. She's in this one, too, at the end of the movie. But she's not really in the movie till the end of the movie. She's just in there as a little, uh, I guess, to, a little follow-up to the next movie. Because I guess this one comes before Underworld and Underworld Evolution. So this is a prequel. Yeah, that's right, right. That's right. It's a prequel. Comes before a sequel. So that one comes before that one. So I know. It's confusing. I know. Why can't they just make a sequel a sequel, you know? But they gotta do prequel and all that. They gotta do backstory. But it's got that same Lucian guy, or however you say his name. He's in this one. He's a pretty good warrior. He's a mean, he's a king werewolf. I call him king werewolf. All the other werewolves listen to him, and they fight the vampires. And uh, there's a nice vampire and werewolf sex scene. I actually thought that was pretty funny. It just made me laugh. The way it looked, it just it looked so off. They're sitting there on a damn cliff having sex. And going, oh, oh. It just looked funny. But uh, that was a very interesting part of the movie. I didn't expect to see that. But uh, they put that in there, I guess, for kicks to make the ratings go up, up, up. But I liked I liked Underworld Rise of Lycans. It had some good fight scenes. The werewolves looked great. I mean, those some damn good-looking werewolves. They were ugly, too. Ugly suckers. They looked, oh, I'd hate to get near them. They'd eat me up. They'd eat me up and spit me out. Oh, boy. But those werewolves looked very good. The vampires... They look decent. They just look like pretty much emo vampires to me. They got the they got the girl vampires in there and don't really do anything. They just walk around. But the king vampire, Victor, he was one bad looking vampire. I wouldn't mess with him. He was bad looking vampire. He just looks like he'd suck you dry because he's a bad vampire. He's the king daddy of vampires. He killed somebody in that movie too. I, I won't say who he killed because I don't want to spoil the movie. But I was surprised he did that. But uh, the other girl, the, the girl vampire in the movie, Victor's daughter, she was pretty good. I liked her. I think she played in Doomsday as that one lead character that had the eyeball, took her eyeball out. But uh, she played in this movie. She was pretty good. She was uh, his daughter. She was a vampire. She was the one in love with uh, Lucian, the werewolf. And they had, uh, you know what, on top of the rock. And, uh, and then they fell in love and they couldn't be together and then, you know, all that, blah, blah. It was kind of like a love story, but it wasn't really a love story because it didn't last long. The love story just didn't last long. I think to Victor, the, the vampire king, he he wouldn't let it last. But I like Underworld, uh, Rise of the Lycan. It's a very good movie. I'd give it like a 9 out of 10. Definitely check it out if you like the Underworld and Underworld Evolution. It's a nice prequel. Very good. I'll definitely buy the DVD when it comes out so I can have the whole series. But uh, Underworld Rise Lichens, very, very good. I enjoyed it. 9 out of 10. Well, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. If you got a movie review, feel free to leave me a video response, and I'll accept it. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.